Look around you, the smartphone in your hand, the computer on your desk, these marvels exist, thanks to quantum physics. Beneath their surfaces lies a world so strange it defies common sense, the quantum realm. Quantum physics isn't just theory, it's the foundation of modern technology. At the turn of the 20th century, classical physics broke down at the atomic scale, revealing a universe governed by probability and uncertainty. This shift led to the digital age, and now, we're on the brink of a second quantum revolution. Quantum computers, unhackable networks, and ultra-precise sensors are on the horizon, powered by principles like superposition and entanglement. Understanding these ideas isn't just for scientists, it's key to grasping where technology is headed. So let's explore the quantum world together, peeling back reality's layers to reveal the rules shaping our future. The journey from the familiar to the quantum is just beginning. One of quantum mechanics' first shocks is wave-particle duality. In the quantum world, an electron or photon can act as both a particle and a wave, sometimes at the same time. Fire electrons through two slits and instead of two lines you get an interference pattern, a signature of waves, it's as if each electron passes through both slits at once, interfering with itself before landing as a single particle. This duality is fundamental, heavy objects have undetectable wavelengths but for electrons their wave nature dominates. That's why electrons form stable, cloud-like orbitals in atoms. Quantum technology harnesses this. Electron microscopes use electron waves to see atoms, and quantum computers rely on qubits' wave-like properties. Qubits can exist in spread-out, probabilistic states, exploring many possibilities at once. Mastering this duality, controlling when quantum objects act like waves or particles, is central to building quantum hardware. The universe's identity crisis is now our engineering challenge, and we're learning to turn it to our advantage. If wave-particle duality bends intuition, superposition shatters it. Classical bits are either zero or one. A quantum bit, or qubit, can be both at once thanks to superposition. Picture a spinning coin while in the air, it's both heads and tails. A qubit is like that, but with any blend of zero and one. This lets quantum computers represent many combinations at once. Three qubits can hold eight states simultaneously. With hundreds of qubits the possibilities outnumber atoms in the universe. This exponential power lets quantum computers explore vast solution spaces all at once. But superposition is fragile. The slightest disturbance, heat, vibration or stray fields, can collapse a qubit into a single state. Protecting qubits requires extreme isolation, often at temperatures colder than space. Building quantum computers means engineering environments where these ghostly states survive long enough to compute. It's a monumental challenge, but the rewards are immense. Superposition is the key to quantum speed, and it's changing what's possible. Say, quantum mechanics gets even stranger with entanglement, what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. Entangled particles share a connection so deep that measuring one instantly reveals the state of the other, no matter the distance. It's not about sending signals, it's a built-in link in the fabric of reality. Entanglement is real, confirmed by countless experiments, and it's essential for quantum technology. In quantum computing, entanglement lets qubits coordinate in powerful ways, enabling algorithms that outpace classical computers. But creating and maintaining entangled states is a major engineering hurdle. Entanglement is the secret sauce for quantum breakthroughs, and it's redefining what's possible in science and technology. The quantum world is delicate, its magic vanishes when we look too closely. Observing a quantum system forces it to pick a single state, collapsing its wave of possibilities. This is the measurement problem the act of observing changes reality itself. Any interaction with the environment light, heat, or vibration counts as a measurement, causing decoherence. Decoherence destroys superposition and entanglement, making quantum states fragile and hard to maintain. Quantum engineers fight this by isolating qubits in ultra-cold, shielded environments. The goal keep the quantum bubble intact long enough to compute. The longer the coherence, the more powerful the quantum computer. Protecting quantum states is the heart of quantum engineering. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle sets a cosmic limit. You can't know a particle's position and momentum perfectly at the same time. The more precisely you measure one, the fuzzier the other becomes. This isn't about bad instruments, it's a built-in property of reality. Imagine shining light on a dust mode. The more accurately you pinpoint its position, the more you disturb its momentum. This trade-off is a direct result of wave-particle duality. It explains why electrons don't crash into atomic nuclei. If confined too tightly, their momentum becomes wildly uncertain. 
The uncertainty principle keeps atoms stable and matter structured. In quantum computing, it sets limits on how precisely we can control and measure qubits. Every quantum interaction involves a fundamental trade-off. It's a reminder that uncertainty is woven into the fabric of the universe. At the heart of quantum mechanics is the Schrodinger equation, the rulebook for how quantum systems evolve. It doesn't predict definite outcomes, but describes how probabilities shift and ripple through space. Think of it as the conductor's score for a cosmic symphony guiding the dance of possibilities. Quantum computers don't just simulate quantum systems, they are quantum systems, evolving according to this equation. That's why they can tackle problems that overwhelm classical computers. Superposition gives qubits power, entanglement links them, and the Schrodinger equation guides their evolution. The uncertainty principle and decoherence set the boundaries of what's possible. These ideas aren't just curiosities, they're the foundation of a new technological era. Understanding them unlocks a future of unprecedented power and insight. The quantum revolution is here, and it's only just begun.